What's up, family? Let's get into it. Uh, YouTube Neighborhood Watch Negroes. YouTube Neighborhood Watch Negroes. Oh, boy. You know, I think some things should be left up to the professionals, you know. You have people that is real, then you have people that's fake. Uh, you have a lot of brothers and sisters in the Negro sector trying to be um, private investigators and detectives and stuff like that. Leave, uh, leave that up to cyber security. You know, I know there's a lot of cyber bullies on here, slash trolls. But, I, you know, I done told y'all some uh, preventative measures. Just don't annoy them. I mean, just don't respond to them. You know, but some some will get this video and some will not get this video. I'm just pointing out the stuff I be saying on social media. Yes, you do have somewhat a crime watch division on here in the Negro sector when it comes to, you know, people trying to expose people. Like I say, it's a it's a it's kind of tricky because some people are frauds on here. And I, you know, and I give a round of applause to the content creators, you know, that is exposing these frauds. But to what end? My thing is this. Be careful. When you expose people, okay, when you expose people, be ready for the retaliation. And it might come into reality, okay? You know, this, well, the world is a small place. You get on here. Playing with folks, you know, causing people, putting folks in jeopardy, even though those folks are in the wrong. And they're misleading the people, misguiding the people. Still, if you don't have the balls enough, you got the balls to do that. But if you don't got the balls for the retaliation, you know, you think you can't get got or they won't seek you out. You better reconsider what you're doing pursuing these folks. Because nine times out of ten, if you cause them issues and financial Issues and stuff like that. As far as they scams and they scams keep falling apart, their channels get ter keep getting terminated. Then they do some investigation and have they, you know, have their minions or whoever they followers come after you and, f and seek you out. You better be prepared. That's all I can say. It's like I say, if you're not in the professional occupations of law enforcement. Why are you trying to be somebody? Why are y'all? Why some, the majority of y'all trying to be people? You're not. You didn't sign up for to, to be in the FOP. You're not a private investigator. A private investigator. You're just a YouTuber. You're just a content creator. I mean, they got they got openings and jobs for uh, cybersecurity. will not you just you know pick up a few books, go you know go to a few courses in cybersecurity, pass the test, and be a, and, and do it, and do it. You know. I'm pretty sure it's brothers and sisters on here that is uh, working at perfection, profession, excuse me, and they have YouTube channels. I'm pretty sure of that. Even the FBI, the FBI got a channel. Yep, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. That the FBI, the F. I'm gonna tell you something. The FBI has a channel on YouTube. Look it up. You think I'm? You think I'm bullshitting? They do. The FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, they have a YouTube channel. Okay? Law, a lot of law enforcement agencies, even they, you know, they got them, they got, they got channels and they, and they got aliases, AKAs. You wouldn't know, but they're a crime division. They, 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 um, mask it with different avatars and stuff like that. Yeah, you have, you have, uh, legit channels on here. You know, to catch scammers and criminals, you know, uh, internet scammers and e beggars, you know. Then you have all these people on YouTube trying to be like, the, like for instance, like the commit, like the, uh, excuse me, like the, uh, Kanika Jenkins thing. Oh my goodness, man. People still talking about that. I think people still talking about it. Let me tell you something, man. I done two videos about that family. Brothers and sisters, two videos. That's all I done, and I sat back and watched these disrespectful black folks 
don't even live in Chicago. Don't even know the the, the young the you know the young lady you know that passed. Far as Kanika Jenkins, you know what I'm saying. Don't even know didn't didn't even know the young lady in the flesh. So you have all these content creators making fifty to a hundred videos, and then setting up PayPal accounts. Do you know people got paid off of those uh, uh, videos? It's, you know, it's, it, it, you know, some brothers and sisters started their channel off of that uh, tragedy. And I bet you none of the proceeds and none of the donations they got, all the donations they got from the people, you know, all the donations they got from them channels, I bet you they ain't said none of the proceeds, donations to uh, the individual family, the, the, the family of uh, Kanika Jenkins. Her biological family. I bet you none of that money didn't go to her. Her burial expenses and nothing like that. But and still, these people got on YouTube, melanated people, the majority of melanated people, video after video after video. And I say, you know what? This is a scam. People trying to get paid off of someone's murder and tragedy and death, which was disrespectful. I sat back and looked at that. I don't know how many people peeped that. I did. Dudes got masses on their face. You know, under disguise or not in this, you know, not in disguise. Women and men doing this, doing that, doing this. As if they knew the young female, they didn't know her from Adam and Eve. Just trying to grow their channel off of tragedy. Goddamn shame. And that's another thing. We don't even respect the death. We don't even respect the dead, man. We don't. This world has got real cold. Like an iceberg, you know what I'm saying? Don't even respect the uh, dead and the passer. Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. YouTube, neighborhood, watch Negroes. You know, it's a double-edged sword. But my thing is this. If you're not genuine, if you're not in those professions, why bother? Again, trying to put on a persona, trying to be someone y'all not. If you're not a cyber police, if you're not in cybersecurity, what are you doing? Leave that to the professionals, okay? You want to be a freelance? You want to be a freelancer or a vigilante? Well, that's up to you. But I'm gonna tell you. Once you take that call, once you get on the internet, and if you be making and you and and, and your uh, by your commentary and by your dialogue, it convicts people. It gets people put away. You better prepare, cause they're gonna seek you out. And once they find out who you are, they're coming for you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you a few stories I'm telling you about. These ain't no stories. There's some videos even on here. And guys, uh, I want y'all to pay attention. And guys and girls uh, pursued the deep web. Many, they pursued the deep web. They got the Onion or Tor browser that allows them to enter into the deep web. That's like the... That's like the uh, you know, that's like the keys to the deep web to open the door to go into the deep web. So these people got on these sites. Somehow they pride, somehow they, you know, they, 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 uh, they explored and, uh, they pride. Then they, they found these red rooms. I'm, I'm handing from different content creators. They was going on sites that, uh, they thought they, they thought they, uh, PC was secured while they was on them sites. Why they when they entered when they entered those sites and when they got on those sites, they was their computer was being hacked all along. They was viruses was getting sent to their computer and somehow these people gathered the information off their computer and, and you know, broke into their computers and found where they live at, the IP address, all the information and everything. This listen, you have a bunch of advanced uh slash rogue internet internet savvy uh developers and programmers on a deep web that went those people are not dumb those people are super genius but they just like the demonic way of life and they are flooded on a deep web you know some of them are assassins are criminals the deep web is what is it is what it is the deep web meaning you have all you have people that's undesirables and, 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 and criminals. And they will 
seek you out. This dude, a couple dudes, like, yep, they, them people came from across the waters and stuff. They woke up one day in the morning, black trucks, unmarked cars. Dudes looking at them, then drive away. Or someone, some some uh, person they never seen before, drop a, you know, knock on their door and leave an envelope and roll out. That's right. To let them know. You keep, you keep pushing the envelope. You keep playing around. We know who you are. You might be, you keep playing around, you might be in our red room. We might send assassin out to take you out. You hear me? Just regular people want to be nosy. It's a movie. It's a movie. Uh, matter of fact, I think I'm right. And y'all need to check it out. I don't know if y'all can find it. It's called The Den. I think it's called The Den. You know, it's called The Den. It was this chick. She saw she saw murder on the deep web or something. And she kept on pursuing it. She kept on pursuing it. The dude, the, the organization broke into a computer. You know, copied all of her files. They broke into a computer while... Uh, why her and her boyfriend was having sex and uh somehow they knew how to turn the computer on everything so while they was having sex they recorded they recorded it from the computer then they found out where she worked at and when she was at work they broke into the they broke into her uh they got somehow they got into uh where she worked at some of the computers there and they turned the movie on, and she got fired. They, that's how advanced these people was. Then they started taking out her friends, and eventually they killed her. This was a movie. See, this is why you have to be careful who you who you investigate. Okay, if you want to go that go that go go down that go down that uh avenue. Now, like I said, man, you play. You, I mean, you, them people may be, you know, you trying to, you trying to be, you trying to be a crime fighter. You trying to be a YouTube neighborhood watch Negro, but you better be prepared for the retaliation. That's all I'm. Hey, it's just awareness. I'm just giving you fair warning now. You know, this is why I don't beef, cause I see beef as as weak. You know, I've been saying some beefs, and these dudes need to stop. I'm not going to mention their name. They're two men, and they're Negro men. They need to stop it. Because it's making them look bad. And they all plastered all over the Negro sector. And it's pitiful. It's very immature. See, stuff like that, I don't, you know, I just, psh, whatever. Um... So, I'm telling you, we already being watched, okay? I hope you know that. I keep telling y'all that, telling y'all that too. We are already being watched on here to a certain extent. To have all that stuff catalog on servers and stuff. That's why y'all have to be careful what y'all saying and do, you know. It's always a cause and effect and effect and a cause, Okay. Like I said, leave it up to the professionals. If you're not a, if you're not a in a in a in a field of law enforcement, what are you doing? All you're doing is setting yourself up to get hurt, and it might and it might worse, you know, get hurt or worse, you know. Because people can track you and everything. It's 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 not it's not a game. Even some of these YouTubers that got a little bit of technical skills, they can get it done. I've seen people dox folks, then find out, uh, then um, done Google map searches on them. And by and by the, the location they figured out, you know, it's so pressed. And then they got the image. That's why I say. That's why I keep telling y'all stop showing everything in y'all videos. Stop showing when y'all stop. Hey man, I mean, what y'all want to do? What y'all want to do? Y'all want y'all life to be an open book? You want people to see you even take a dump or piss? Come on now. And then y'all get mad. 
and y'all up here knowing y'all already and expose yourselves by uh, by trying to expose other folks, and they're going to try to expose you. So it's only right for them to expose you, especially if you uh, uh getting people's uh, commentary knocked down and stuff like that. So they're going to come after you too, okay? You think you unstoppable? You causing other people pain and, 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 and causing their channels to get terminated. Oh, they're coming for you too. I mean, that's the essence of it. This is why I, this was, this is why I stay in a neutral zone. This is not about me being a coward or nothing. Because I tell you what, I already went, you know, I already went in with dudes on here since I've been on here. And they, they haven't returned. So that should tell you something. I don't play those games. Cause I don't bother nobody on here, so why should why why should they bother me? And then when they try to lie, then when I come out with a couple of videos to to show them up, they look stupid, you know. And I and 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 that's it. See this is this see, like I told y'all early early on in my videos, all these different you all these not only the YouTube platform, all social media platforms. Let me tell you something, man. You have mentally ill people on here, and that's what y'all have to realize. You have people, like I keep saying, that they just don't know how they get on here and they lose their goddamn minds. They don't know what the hell they want to talk about. They, they talk about this. They're trying to piggyback off this, regurgitate this. They go to the trending places, see who's trending. They they start orchestrated beefs. They, they pick on people so they get their channel popping. And some of them, they desperate because they need money, and that's the truth, man. You can you you can tell if you if you a YouTube connoisseur or social media connoisseur period meaning that you on here looking at various different platforms you can tell who's desperate some of these people are desperate because they don't have no other source of income and some of them trying to get paid on here and they're getting paid this is the only income they have and they get real desperate you know and they always want to pick on folks that stay more relevant and stay relevant so they 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 you know. Hey, this is the essence of it. So, just 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 breaking it down for you, and explaining what a YouTube, you know, what what YouTube Negro hood watch Negroes mean. You know what I'm saying? That's what it mean. A bunch of people on here, you know, calling out folks. Being, you know, helping the YouTube police, if you will, and you know, uh, snitching, 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 telling Tyler tellers and you know, Tyler tellers and stuff like that, you know, false flag parties or flag parties. Like I said, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of uh, delicate, if you, you know, because I do, I do champion and and, and I do uh, salute the salute the freelancers and the vigilantes too, you know. You know the rogue, the rogue agents on here that really, but but some of these guys and girls, they 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 can back it up. Now I'm all for that. So let me let me reiterate, I'm all for that. If you rogue, if you have a channel, you're not a law enforcement, you just a content creator. But this is your thing to expose people, put them on front street, and you know you know what you're getting into. Well, I support the cause. Because it is a bunch of frauds on here, and they need to be exposed. Because, unfortunately, you got ignorant-ass black folks that believe everything that comes out of people's mouth in the video. You know? And, and and you got good guys and girls up here that take it upon themselves. They're not cyber police. They're not none of that. They're just regular old YouTube content creators, but this is their cause to, uh, uh, to get rid of undesirables that's content creators on YouTube. That's pumping filth and, and untruths. So if you doing that, salute to y'all. But be careful. That's all I'm saying. Be careful and be ready and be ready for retaliation. Be re Be ready. YouTube neighborhood watch Negroes. I'm out. <laughs>